I don't like using titles or anything, but if you had to call me something for the band, I guess it would be tour manager, merch guy, or just, you know, one hell of a cowbell player. And uh, this is Ryan McGaskin. I can remember the first time leaving New England with these guys, saying to them in the van, hey, this is the first I've been outside of New England, you know, just like, check this out. And, you know, next thing you know, I'm, I'm in Germany or, or I'm in Hawaii or just, you know, living almost a surreal life in a sense and, and not worrying about, you know, tomorrow, but just living for today and having a blast. And, you know, I think we all have that attitude and, and it's, it's awesome, you know? But, like, today, when I go in there, you know, it's not easy. I have hard things to do. I have to, like, come up with things to do, you know, while I'm listening to Travis do vocals. What do you think? I just sit there on the couch and people hand me things to do? No. I have to, you know, if I'm hungry, I have to make my own food or something. Make my own coffee and drink that. Jeez. So when you're sitting at home, listening, enjoying, just think of all the hard work and sitting and thinking and using the internet that I had to do to make this all happen. Get, get the camera. Look at that beautiful river. Someday I'd like to build myself a cabin by that river. Fish salmon and raise a family. <laughs> Farm. And now I will perform the first concert on film. That's it! What? Hello, welcome to Stuart Uncut. We're going to talk about a very important subject today, and that is why Isaac thinks he can just find a single mom and. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Why Isaac thinks he can just. Why is this not in focus anymore? Yeah, you're right. We were called Dorknob, and it was we had another drummer, 
and Todd, Todd Collins. And it was just me and Travis and Todd. I played bass. Yeah, Travis played bass, but you didn't fucking know that. I thought you knew everything. <laughs> So we should have told me about that earlier. Oh, hi. We're in fucking Belgium, dude. It's crazy. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> <Piece of work. laughs> All right, one of my favorite parts about Europe, how after the shows, <laughs> after the shows, the clubs usually become dance parties. Ryan's really gonna be bummed out when he finds out that girl's a fucking hooker! <laughs> hmm. Hi. All the Hello. Boys say... Lucian Gary here in Berlin. <laughs> no! I love her.
Take care. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? For real, what just happened? Like, that dog just mutilated me. Look at this. That's like fucking a puncture wound. I asked the dude, I was like, yo, does your dog have rabies? And he's like, no, but it looks like it fucking had rabies. It has it. A... I tried to be cool to that dude, but I'm bummed out right now. This dog just fucked me up. <laughs> that definitely hurt. really fucking hurt. Uh oh. Um. Sorry. I guess she's. All right. Sorry. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. Are you okay? That? Yeah, I'm fine, dude. Really. Okay. Like, that dog just. So that was Berlin. That was Berlin. Your dog has. He doesn't have rabies, right, or anything. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that at all. No, no, no. Shots, no, everything. No, no, okay. No. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, this has been a really weird fucking 30 yeah, seconds. Thank you. Thank you. This is great. I feel very at home here right now, except that. You can't talk to me in your own language. <laughs> My name is Aaron Stewart, rock and roll guitarist, Esquire the Third, um, for Piebald. I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the studio. Let's go. These are the stairs, and it's this is the coldest day of the year here in Boston, Massachusetts. I think it's like negative 36 out. In here, it's a little kind of like <laughs> ow. Here is where we rock the guitars and the amps, and uh, the drums go over here. This is the isolation booth that uh, we use for like vocals or like uh, piano. So right now the piano's out here though, because we were just doing like single takes with the piano. Um, let me see. This this over here is uh, this is Blanta, <laughs> and um, Blanta's good because we used him on a. Uh, as a bass drum on a track for the record. It's like that. Just like that. This is uh, Count Chocula's organ. That's the uh, producers doing their magic. This is where the sun comes in. It's kind of like a chill area, you know? I recorded right after I had throat surgery, and uh, I was at my mom's house, and she had a piano, and I had my stepbrother's acoustic guitar, and he had another guitar and an amp, and I would just record all day because I had nothing else to do. I couldn't talk to anybody. Okay, so I just uh, made a bunch of, I made a whole few tapes of songs there, but I couldn't do vocals, so I didn't write any words came out, we started writing songs after we moved to LA. And that's where almost all the songs were written. A couple on the road. Yeah, it's pretty good. I could even use a little more vocals in them. Cause I take, I do the We Are The World one headphone off thing, you know? We got a piano at our house, so we write piano songs now, occasionally. We got two of them. This one's called Haven't Tried It. It's about taking stuff that's not yours. And if you find a way
think I've quite decided I, I won't wake you when you're dead And if you find a way out That I'll never do somehow, no Yeah, if you find a way out That I'll never do somehow So if you find can't see it doesn't mean it's <laughs> one more time he can put a bunch of things together that sound even mediocre and then he'll put them together and they sound amazing and like I can think of so many records that he's been a part of that mean a lot to me or helped to change the way I play music or think about music like dinosaur junior records and you know the pixies and mixing Radiohead and things like that, like that's, that's really incredible. So it's a pleasure for us to work with him. In fact, I believe that's the correct statement. We've been driving in this for how many hours, Stuart? 24 and 11 minutes. 24 hours and 11 minutes. Holy crap. Oh, I'm still alive. Uh, 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 I'm still alive. Oh. I drove the van into the trailer today. Sorry.
right there is an African sizzler snake. <laughs> it sizzles when it gets wet. African wool moth. We see those native to Kenya. That's where they were first discovered in the mountains of Ecuador. <laughs> Give you a nasty bite too. Check out the two markings on the wings, oh, symbolizing the Titanic. the Titanic, the sinking of the Titanic. <laughs> the trouble I see. Nobody knows but Jesus. natural casing snap. I mean, you know that thing's an intestine when you're biting oh, into it. <laughs> <laughs> song you're hearing right now is a new song that has no title and uh it's about the times in your life when you feel blue it's a song about how in most times of life you often can find something creative and get something out of that so when you're bummed think about what you can pull out of it and have a sunshiny day they match your beard <laughs> <laughs>
is that guy. He goes to any party and he's that guy. Yeah, that guy. He's the guy who's grabbing your ass and stuff and you're like, what are you doing? You know? You find him on the floor under the couch in the morning. Wait, Ryan grabbed your ass? I didn't know grabbed my ass. And I definitely saw him and on New Year's grabbing a lot of butts. Happy New Year! Here's a goose. I saw that too. He also, I think he had his shirt off at one point and he was singing Thriller or something. It's fucking smooth, dude. And what about the time that the two girls you brought back to the hotel room took pictures of you wearing a Speedo? <laughs> that was all the action you brought. He goes, they took pictures of me in my Speedo. Balls out! Balls out! Balls out! <laughs>
getting the camera. Yeah, but I was gonna be like, a, well, take a while. I really want this to stop, and I can't make it stop. Stop, please. Just push the button, bro. What button? The record button. Oh yeah.